So we're here on Way of the Hunter, we're just going to jump right into things. We have a 5 star mule deer right there, so this guy was a 4 star, and that was what the video was going to be about, was going around and checking some of my 4 star animals and seeing if they were going to be 5 stars or not. And yeah, this guy just kind of popped up. So he was a 4 star, I ended up changing the time once, and he ended up being a 5 star, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can't take him down. So this is my second 5 star um, mule deer, so this is going to be really cool to actually try and get. So. We're gonna stand up here, and there he is. He's not really giving us the best of shots right there. So, I don't know for sure what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he's massive. Just look at him. He is absolutely massive. So, I, I want him to turn back this way. If he'll turn back to the left there, that would be perfect. I mean, we could probably get into the lungs there. How far is that? It's 155 meters. We could zero for 150, and I think we could probably get into the lungs. Um, I don't know. He's just quartering away too much. I don't know if I want to take that. So, I think I'm going to push over here to my left just a bit and see what we can do with that. So, I'm going to get over here and I'll let you know when I think we have a good shot. Okay guys, so I think we have a pretty good shot right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take it before something crazy happens. So, that looks pretty good. We were 0 for 150. It was about 153. So, there should be no reason why that's not good. And, yeah, he's already stumbling and stuff. That looks pretty good to me. So, we're going to go over here and check him out. And like I said, this is my, um, my second um, 5-star mule deer. So, we're going to go check him out and see exactly what we hit and see if we got a good shot or not. And here he is, guys. So, yeah, he is pretty big. We're going to go ahead and get a photo of him really quickly, and, or at least try to. It's not a really good position. But we're going to see what we can do with this. And, yeah, where is he at? So, yeah, there's a bush right here, so it's kind of making it a little difficult to actually get a photo. So, something like that. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's about as good as I think we're going to get it. We could move to the left there a little bit, but for now, let's just go ahead and pick this guy up. So, got him in the right lung, and then entered the left lung as well, so hit that ribcage bone, but that was just a perfect shot, honestly, and then go over here, and he is a 5 star, 90%, 90.73 um, genetics there, so not too bad on that either. So yeah, he is a mature and all that, and what is his trophy rating? 466, so that's a really nice one. I don't know exactly what our other one was, but we'll have to check that out when we get in the lodge if we can. So... 466.0, that is really, really cool, and our second 5-star Mule Deer, so we're going to go ahead and tax this guy, and then I think we'll just go ahead and go into the lodge, um, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and go into the lodge and find a place for this guy, and we're here in the lodge, and as you can see, we do have our two Mule Deer right here, so the first one we're looking at here is the one that I got the other day, so yeah, he is a 5-star, and it just kind of came out of nowhere, and I honestly kind of panicked, so I just went ahead and shot him, I didn't really have enough time to actually record between me seeing him and me shooting him, I just said, I'm going to take him down before something crazy happens. He ends up running off and dying or something, and I never see him again. But this one over here is the one that we got today. So, really cool to see him turn into a 5-star. He matured from a 4-star to a 5-star, and I'm just really happy about that. That was the first animal I've got to do that successfully with. I've had a few, like, mountain goats and a bighorn sheep that were 4-stars that never ended up maturing into 5-stars, so this is really cool to see. So... I guess we're just going to go back out today. Like I said, we do have two other markers out here that we might end up go checking out. I'm not too sure yet, but we're just going to kind of go out here and do some hunting. I did go ahead and buy all four of the privately owned lands. So we have Diamond Drill, there's Holly Witch over here, um, She Devil is up here in the top left hand corner, and Falls Reservoir. So might go into one of them and check some stuff out, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what else we can find here today. We have some Yoder up ahead, so that one right there is a two-star mature. That's probably going to be the one we take down. We also have a one-star adult there, and then somewhere over there, there is another one-star adult as well. So I think we are going to go ahead and take down that guy right there. So he's giving us a pretty good shot, so we might as well go ahead and take it. So he's got some decent antlers on him. He's not half bad looking, but since he is a mature, he's probably not going to get much bigger than what he is. So zeroed for 150. Let's go ahead and just take him. So... That should definitely be good, and then there goes one of the one-star, or yeah, one-star adults there, so that should end up being good. Let's go ahead and go check him out. And here's our mule deer right here, so he's not actually that half bad. He's got some really, really nice antlers on him, so let's go ahead and check him out. So got him in the left lung right there, and that appears to be it. We did hit the flesh and bone and stuff like that, but yeah, looks like it went through the left lung, and then looks like it came just straight out the left lung. So... Pretty good shot. Um, did hit a little far forward there. Um, almost hit the um shoulder blade actually. And his um genetics are gonna be 73.83%. So he's actually not half bad. He probably would have been a three star mature um by the time we let him grow up a little bit. But yeah, I don't think he was gonna get anything bigger than a three star. So his trophy rating is 315. We're gonna go ahead and sell this guy. So 
I think what we're going to do today is just go towards that mark right there. There's a really nice four-star mature um, mule deer that I saw over there, and I really want to go see if maybe he's a five-star. And then after that, I think we'll just kind of make our way around here, maybe go down into Diamond Drill over here in Holly Witch or something like that. I don't know. We're just going to do a lot of exploring today since I do have these new areas. Just do a bunch of hunting, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And we have a two-star mature um, badger right there, so I thought it'd be pretty cool if we could go ahead and take him down. And he is going to stop there, so that's actually going to give us a pretty good shot. So... If we can get him really quickly, we're going to zero for like 50 there, and of course he is going to run away, but we could probably do something like that, and as you can see, blood went everywhere, so that should have actually took him down, unless that's him right there. There was a female with him, so that is going to be the female, and yeah, he is down over here, so we are using the 243 on these guys, so it does drop them pretty quickly. It's not the right gun. I think, what are they, a tier, um, tier 2, tier 3, and we also have some, looks like whitetail right here, mule deer right here. So that's quite unfortunate. It looks like we have a one-star adult there. Um, one-star adult, nothing too crazy in there, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I didn't even realize they were over there. There's a one-star young, so this is definitely one of my um, younger groups of mule deer. So let's go ahead and pick this guy up. So got him in the flesh right there and just killed him instantly. Actually almost hit the brain, so right through the um, face actually. And 54.47 genetics, he was a mature, so probably wasn't going to get much bigger there, and we didn't get anything for him, so yeah, we lost all the meat by that, so it really, I don't know if it was worth it, but I took him down anyway, since we really haven't shot many badgers, I don't think, um, during a recording, so we're just going to go ahead and move on, and might go and catch up with the mule deer, see if there's anything like a mature in there that I might have missed, but other than that, let's keep going. We have some white-tailed deer up ahead, so I'm pretty sure all of these are one-star adults. We have one right there, I think that one is also a one-star adult, and I think that's probably going to be the one we take down, because he is quite small compared to the others, so yeah, that was a one-star adult, we have another one right there, we also have some foxes over here, there's a one-star adult fox right there, so I think we are going to go ahead and take down that one one-star wherever he went, he's one of these that is really, really small, so let's go ahead and get the gun out, we'll just kind of scan over him with the scope here, so pretty sure it's that one right back there um, behind that doe there, so as soon as she moves out of the way, if she moves out of the way, we will go ahead and try and take that shot. So let's go ahead and zoom in right here and see how far that is. So 200 meters. And I did not mean to switch our guns there, but there we are. So there's also a fox right here beside me. I'm pretty sure that is a female. So let's go ahead and zero for 200. And as soon as she decides to move, um, this other buck might decide to come in. Okay, he's going to go behind him. So as soon as she decides to move, we'll go ahead and try and take the shot there. And yeah, I think we can get it right there. So let's go ahead and just go for something like that. So that looked pretty good to me. Maybe a bit far back, but he is stumbling quite a bit. I don't think he's going to go very far. So we're going to go over there, check this guy out, and see how we did. And here's our white tail right here. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. So got him in the left lung right there and the right lung. So really, really good shot. Hit both the lungs pretty well. And then 51.73 genetics. Yeah, he probably wasn't going to be too big. Probably a two-star mature at best. So that's good that we actually took this one down. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and sell him. His trophy rating is 213.0. So yeah, didn't lose any meat really there. So let's go ahead and sell this guy. And we are getting pretty close to um, where I saw that four-star mule deer. So we're just going to kind of look around. I think it was 11 o'clock when I saw him. And it is 11 o'clock now. So... If he's going to be over there, I imagine he'll be over there right now. If he's not, then I'm not going to worry too much about it. So let's go over there and see if we can find him. Okay, guys, so I wasn't able to find our mule deer, so I decided to go ahead and come up here to She-Devil. So She-Devil is really good. Um, it's actually over here, but right now we are over in this area. But it's got mountain goats, it's got bighorn sheep, it's got gray wolves, stuff like that. And I really like hunting them types of animals. So we're going to go ahead and just go up there, see what we can kind of find. And we also bought a new scope, so I went ahead and bought the 18 times. So, it's supposed to be the best scope, so I thought we'd go ahead and buy it. So, we are officially broke right now. We only have 100 credits. So, we're going to go ahead and just kind of walk up this mountain and see if we can find us some bighorn sheep or some mountain goats. Some mountain goats up ahead. So, let's go ahead and see what we have. I know there is a three-star mature right there, so that's definitely interesting. We have a one-star young there, a one-star adult, and then another one down here. I think that's a female. Yeah, that's going to be a female. So, there is another one right there, another one-star adult. Um, that looks like a female, so I think we might go ahead and take down the three-star mature. Um, he's probably not going to get too much bigger. He might turn into maybe a four-star, but I definitely don't think he will be a five-star. I think we'll go ahead and take this guy down. Just because the others are young, and then there's some adults in there, so they do have a chance to get bigger. So, yeah, this scope is pretty good looking. So, 200 meters, well, zero for 200, and let's go ahead and just go for something like that. So, that looked perfect, and yeah, he's going to go down, I'm pretty sure. He's stumbling a little bit there, and... I don't even, yeah, he's already down. 
So I don't think I've actually shot a mountain goat yet. I think I actually shot one and what happened was it ended up disappearing because it was like across a lake and for some reason the blood will disappear in the game and I think that is a glitch at the moment. But yeah, the blood will disappear so I wasn't able to actually get him or find him. So yeah, that'll be our first mountain goat I think that we're going to pick up. So let's go over there and check this guy out. Here's our mountain goat right here. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. I think we may have hit heart because the way it was looking there was quite a bit of blood up there. So yeah, we did end up getting the heart and then the left lung as well. So that was quite literally a perfect shot, um, just really, really good. And we actually just barely grazed the heart there, so I'm sure that's probably why he didn't go down like right away. So I quite like that um, there, and then we got the right lung, of course, so really, really good shot. And then let's go ahead and see, he was 84% genetics, so I think he probably had a chance to be a 4-star, and I don't think he was going to be a 5-star, though. So went ahead and took him down so we can make room for some of the younger ones to get a little bit bigger there. So three star um, mountain goat down. And like I said, I think this is the first one I've actually picked up. So 423.9 for the score there. So selling for 703. That's actually not half bad. And yeah, the encyclopedia there just unlocked for the mountain goats or got some more information in it. So we can go ahead and look at that really quickly. So mountain goats, they should be tier five. Yeah, they're going to be tier five. And Looks like we just got some more information on them, so yeah, I haven't picked one up yet. So, we're just going to go ahead and move right along here. I'm not too sure where we're going to go. Um, I think I'm going to go on the left side of this mountain here, since I've been down on the right side here at this lake. So, I think we're going to go up that direction, and just see what we can kind of find out here. And we have some gray wolves up ahead, so let's go ahead and check these out. So, we have a one-star adult right there. There is a female, and then there is another one right there, a one-star mature. So... Is there any more? Okay, we do have some more over here. There's another one star mature, and that is all I see at the moment. There could be some more that I'm just missing here, but for the moment, I just see... Oh, there's... Okay, that's the same group. I was going to say there's another one right there, but two one star matures, and we do have some more coming in right there. There's a young female there, another female, another one star mature, and then that one back there is a female as well. So I imagine that's probably it. There may be a few more that come back through, but I think that's probably it. So gonna go ahead and take down one of them one star matures I think I think that'll be the correct approach to this so let's go ahead and see I think that's one right there so might as well go for it so I haven't hunted too many gray wolves honestly I've shot a few I had a five star that got away from me like I said that actually ended up dying I'm guessing so yeah I've had that happen but that is about it so I'm pretty sure that was him right there he's 200 meters so should zero for 200 and it should be pretty good right there so yeah, that blood is really, really good. I usually don't take too many running or walking shots like that in this game so far. So that was a really good shot there, and he shouldn't go too far. I'm going to mark him up there because I've had problems with if I like um, am shooting across this lake, the blood will disappear, and I will, will not be able to find the blood or him. So we're going to go over there and make it quick and see if we can find him before that happens. And here's our Grey Wolf right here. So the blood didn't disappear, he, and he actually just died right up here by our markers. So let's go ahead and pick this guy up. So... Got him in the left lung and the right lung and hit him really, really good and it got him down really quickly. Um, hit both the lungs really quickly as well. We were still in the um, current energy as it was um, getting the um, right lung there. So really, really good shot. And then 21% genetics. So he didn't have very good genetics at all there and 48 for the sale price. So these guys, they don't give a whole lot and um, we did lose quite a bit of meat with that. So I have noticed that from the wolves that I have shot before, you do lose quite a bit of meat. So it might be worth actually using a lower caliber rifle so let's go ahead and sell this guy so and for some reason the blood does stay here for some time sometimes with the animals so that's really cool as well so we're gonna go ahead and move on and just keep heading this direction I wasn't able to actually go around the mountain here so came back down towards the lake and we're just gonna kind of wrap around up this direction and just just do some hunting honestly so let's go ahead and move on and we have some mountain goats up ahead so we actually have a really nice four star in here so I don't know if we'll be able to spot him I'm not too sure exactly which one he is I think he's that one behind the trees there um, it's just not giving me a good spot because there is so many just stacked up right on top of each other there. But there is a four star in there. We're going to go ahead and take down a two star mature over here. So that is going to be the focus. And it just popped up there for a second, the four star. So there he is right there, four star mature, and it just went away again. So four star mature, we're going to be keeping a really close eye on that, guys. So I do have a little marker over here that we can um, come back to. So let's go ahead and take down this um, two star mature before he gets behind the trees here. So... He is that one right there. He's about 100, 124. So we'll zero for 120 or 100 there, and we'll just go for something like that. So 
that looks pretty good looked like a really good long shot and that's gonna be him right there and yeah he's not gonna go too far he's gonna stumble along there and he will go down so let's go over there and check him out and here's our mountain goat right here so let's go ahead and check this guy out so got him in the left lung right there and then hit him in the right lung as well so did hit that rib cage there for a split second so it kind of stopped the bullet there but it ended up penetrating both of the lungs there so that was a really good shot and then a 70% um, for his genetics so he has a two star had some really good genetics but since he was mature probably wasn't gonna get bigger than a three star there so what is his rating it's a 386.1 so pretty nice mountain goat and they give pretty good cash there too 642 so we're just gonna keep going on I guess and like I said I do have a marker there for future reference so that we can come back over here and see if that four star turns into a five star so let's go ahead and move on and we have some elk up ahead so we have a one star young right there we also have a two star mature behind him so that two star mature is actually not half bad looking and then we also have a one star mature here on the bridge so if we could get one it would be that one star mature right there unfortunately he is facing or not even facing us his butt is facing us right there so not really giving us a good shot i couldn't even spot him until he got off the bridge there so i had some really good shots on him but unfortunately it just wouldn't let me spot him there so Looks like we do have a third one over there as well. A one star young it looks like. Or that's this one right here. So can't actually spot that one at the moment. It's going to be a one star young as well looks like. So never mind. So I guess we'll go ahead and just kind of sneak around over here. And see if maybe we can take down this one star mature. And yeah let's go over here and see what we can do. There's our one star mature right there. So we have a pretty decent shot there. I think we're going to go ahead and try and take something. And might not have a good shot by the time we get our 300 out. But we're going to see what happens here. So... There he is right there, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to zoom in, and of course that female is going to walk in front of him. So, okay, he's giving us a pretty good shot, and he's 105 meters out. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for something like that right there. And I'm hoping that is him. It looked like it was him, so we'll have to wait and see. We did spot him right there, so unless he just moved and I didn't notice it, that's I'm pretty sure that's him. So let's go over here, check out the blood, and then we'll see where he's going to end up going. So, yeah, should have been a really good shot. It looked really, really good. He was only about 102 meters out, so zeroed for 100 it should have been really good so let's see where is the blood it's gonna be up here i'm guessing um yeah there it is right there so um let's see a medium amount of blood air bubbles yeah he's not gonna go too far so let's go ahead and follow him and see where he's at so here's our elk right here let's go ahead and check this guy out so got him in the left lung right there got him in the right lung as well and then yeah he is gonna be our mature so only 18.14 percent genetics he is really really bad in the genetics department so 579 for the total selling price that's not half bad didn't lose much meat there and 211 for his total score so pretty decent shot right there and a very very small um elk right there so we're gonna go ahead and sell him and yeah let's go ahead and just kind of move on and we have a pack of wolves up ahead so we do have a one star mature right there that's probably going to be the one we take down there's a two star mature there another two star mature um so yeah just kind of looking around to make sure we don't have anything that's too crazy but i think it is just a bunch of matures and maybe a couple adults in there so let's go ahead and take down that guy right there so one star mature shouldn't be too bad of a shot so let's go ahead and get the gun out here and see where he's going to be going looks like he stopped right there so we're going to go ahead and position right here so let's see he's about 150 so zero for 150 and we'll just go for something like that so that looked like a really really good blood spot right there and yeah he kind of moved or glitched out or something like that as i shot so looked like it may have been a bad one at first but it looks like he is gonna not go too far honestly so there he goes down right there let's go check this guy out and here's our wolf right here so let's go ahead and check this guy out so got him in the left lung and the right lung right there so really really good shot 41% genetics, so he was a mature one star, so probably was not going to get much bigger. Maybe could have been a two star, but I highly doubt it, honestly. So he lost quite a bit of meat on that one, and then 381 for the total score there. So 35 for the credits, so yeah, not really good at paying out with the wolves. But we're going to go ahead and move on, I think, down to this lake and see if there's anything over here. And if there's not, we'll probably go ahead and wrap things up. And if there is, we'll probably still go ahead and wrap things up after we take it down. So let's go over there and check it out bighorn sheep up ahead so we have a one star adult right there but we have a really really nice three star adult right there so that guy i think has a lot of potential to be a five star at some point so that is definitely one to keep our eyes on and then we also have a three star mature right there so i think we might go ahead and take down that one star adult because if you compare him to the um three star mature or the three star adult they look nothing alike this one is super super small um i don't think he has very good genetics there so i think we're going to take that one down and we could possibly take down this 3-star mature right here. He might get to a 4-star, but I don't know if he'll make it to 5-star. We're going to leave him and the 3-star adult over here for now. But yeah, I definitely want to keep tabs on this guy because I think he has a lot of potential to be a 5-star. So going to go ahead and mark this over here. 
and I think we will go ahead and take down this one star adult right there so let's go ahead and get our gun out and we'll just kind of go for something so I went ahead and hunted a few of these before but not too much so we're gonna go ahead and go for that to 126 so I guess we'll zero for I guess we can zero for um, 100 there and we'll just go for something like that right there so that should enter into some of the lung or one of the lungs and then we also have some more that are running back in there so didn't actually end up seeing them so that'll be quite interesting I don't think there was anything else too crazy in there so I think that guy is probably gonna end up going down so let's go up there and check the blood out and here's our big horn right here so he actually kind of fell down in these bushes right here so it was kind of difficult to find him but let's check him out so got him in the right lung right there so yeah only penetrated that right lung which I kind of expected so it did take him a little bit longer to go down but his genetics are 43% so yeah I don't think he was gonna get a whole lot bigger especially since he was an adult and that three star adult was really big so yeah this guy he's gonna sell for 291 and then his total score is 275.1 so we're gonna go ahead and sell that guy and with that that's where we're gonna kind of end things there so I really hope you enjoyed this video um, and yeah I, we're gonna be keeping tabs on that um, three star adult big horn as well as that um, three star mature as well and then also that four star mature mountain goat as well so really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did remember to like subscribe comment do all that fun stuff it really does help out the channel and I will see you all in the next one bye bye guys so I just got done editing today's video and as I was going over here to actually check in on our four star mountain goat I came across that guy right there so it is a five star mature bighorn sheep so it kind of came out of nowhere so we're going to go ahead and try and take this guy down so I know I just wrapped up everything with the video but I'm going to add this to the end of the video here so there he is and he's giving us a perfect shot so we're going to go ahead and take it so that is going to drop him that was absolutely perfect so yeah I really just I had to just take him down as quick as possible there I wasn't too sure if they were going to flee or not we had bad wind um, I wasn't too sure where they were going he just kind of came out of nowhere like I said I was going over here to check on our um, four star uh, mature mountain goat and seeing if maybe he had matured into a five star so this is being recorded like I said the next day after I, after I got done editing today's video so this will be added in but this guy is absolutely massive holy crap so this will be our first four star uh, or five star mountain goat so we're gonna go ahead and remove that marker and I'm gonna go ahead and get a picture with this guy we're gonna go ahead and I guess we'll get our gun out here and we'll try for some kind of picture like this so we'll bend down and let's see he's really in the grass right there so it probably won't be the best picture ever but yeah that's not half bad like you can see his big horns right there he is absolutely massive so maybe do something like that I would really wish we could like push down the grass like in call of the wild so I don't know we'll go ahead and go for I guess something like that we'll just keep that right there and yeah let's go ahead and get that screenshot so let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and pick this guy up so got him in the heart left lung right lung that was absolutely perfect just a beautiful shot on this guy and he is gonna be a five star so 99.59 percent genetics holy crap this guy is absolutely massive that is pretty crazy that's the first one that I've had that was 99 percent genetics like that or just any animal so that is quite literally crazy so yeah we didn't lose too much meat there and trophy 499.1 so that is pretty crazy to see this guy is an absolute giant of a bighorn sheep so we're gonna go ahead and tax him right here and we're gonna go ahead and go to the lodge so we actually have a mission right there um let's see what mission is that let's see real quick it's this one right here. no not that one it's this one right here so harvest a bighorn sheep with a trophy rating of four stars or more so I guess we'll activate that and we we'll might as well get a mission done as well so well maybe we can we tax them when we do that I don't know um let's see if we claim him right here yeah we can still tax him so we're gonna go ahead and tax this guy and yeah there we go we actually completed a mission all in one so that is really really cool so we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the lodge and find a place to put this guy so we're here in the lodge and I did go ahead and move our mule deer so this one is over here that's the one that we got today and then the other one is down there on, on the bottom floor there so decided to go ahead and move them and then we also got a um, five star duck that I didn't tell you about so really quickly um, this was the first one right here and this one right over there was the second one that I got this was a few days ago so that was really cool and now we have a five star bighorn sheep so this is going to kind of throw a loop into the plans and stuff because I'm going to have to add this to the um into the recording and stuff like that and then edit that up and yeah I actually have to change my thumbnail as well so that is um, pretty crazy so can we put him up here that'd be really cool um doesn't look like we can I'd really like him up there but let's see where can we put him maybe like right there that's a little bit too small I think um maybe right here that'd be a good spot for him so we have two big horns fighting now that would be cool to get another one and put him right there so 
that might that might be what I actually do is put him right there for now and I can always change it if I don't like it so it's gonna be 1550 to tax so that is the problem there um, it is really expensive to tax them onto these like bigger stands and stuff like that but I, th I think we will go ahead and put him right there so there we have it our first five star bighorn sheep and quite literally just kind of came out of nowhere so that is really really cool to see and like I said he is an absolute giant of a bighorn and I'm glad that we actually kind of found him just randomly right there so I really do hope you enjoy this video like I said this kind of came out of nowhere so I thought I'd go ahead and add it for you guys so really hope you enjoy the video remember to like subscribe comment do all that stuff like I already said and I will see you all in the next one bye bye